Cameron, I need a new book to read. Out of this whole entire section, what should I read? I would think you should read Black Heroes because it's Black History Month. Oh. Well, technically last month was Black History Month. Oh, it is March. I thought it was still February. I also, I really thought that too until you said that. But then I was like, wait, it's over. But we should never stop celebrating. No, we shouldn't. It should be an all year sort of thing. I think so. And Thaddeus is going to continue this trend. We have another staff member this time highlighted so for Black History Month for our teachers, segment. Not teachers, not teachers, other um, African-American staff yes. that work in the building. Absolutely. So we're going to go see who it is. It's an awesome spotlight. So let's check it out. That's part of my job is being able to be with students, be around students, and make an impact on their lives. In Norristown High School, I enjoy working here. I enjoy working with Mr. Smallbuck. Uh, I just appreciate the fact that I'm from Norristown and I was able to return and hopefully I'm a positive impact. The sooner you discover or figure out what you want to do with your life, go for it and, and put all the effort into it. Uh, it's going to be challenges. Don't let anyone discourage you and push you away from your dreams. I would like to be an example right? for some young person. It could be black, white, doesn't matter, male, female, um, for them to see what they could achieve with hard work. For me, it's, it's fun. Our job is not to, to baby you or, or coddle you, it's to prepare you for the real world. The biggest responsibility I have is to be professional and a role model for all the students. Sometimes you feel like you can't be yourself. Yeah. You know, there's a professional way and a way that you have to act. Just in general, when you go out, but then when you go home or you're around your family, yeah. you know, sometimes we can act a different way. Um, I think that's a, a wonderful impact to have on students, for you to be able to see yourselves in a position and say, you know what, I can do that too. You know, I'm African American. Um, some of those students find naturally there's an easier connection because of the ethnicity. Uh, the, the challenges, I, I would say our challenges is to continue to recruit and promote <clears throat> minority visibility in our district overall. A lot of times in these positions, you don't see an African American or a person of minority, a minority person in these positions leading a team or a crew. So at all times, that's what I'm thinking of. I think uh, students can look at me and they can um, see themselves and see what they may want to be. Um, you know, you guys are one step closer to being real adults and going out to the real world. So I just will hope that people will say that I'm honest enough to care enough about you to get you ready for the real world. I think that that leaves us sometimes in a place where um, students feel as though, you know, some of the policies and some of the rules are imbalanced. A few guys that refuse to cooperate, let's say, put it that way, refuse to cooperate because of uh, because I was a minority. You know, just give them advice and tell them that they can be what they want to be, but they have to keep their focus on what they're here for. I mean, it's good to have fun in, in school, but it's you have to keep your focus as to what you want to do. And Working with teachers and staff members, um, no matter where you are, presents some of the same challenges. Well, the advice I would give is anything that you put your mind to, if you want to succeed, you can. Um, like I said, Norristown, we're, we're eagles, so eagles can soar and rise above everything. 